Howdy, my name is Max Schlechter with Everglades Equipment Group and today I'm here to talk to y'all not about green stuff but about some orange and white steel chainsaws. I got the MS-151TC, the MS-194T, the MS-170, the MS-251 and finally I'll be talking to y'all about the MS-271 Farm Boss. I know you can't see their model numbers but you're gonna have to trust me on that one and let's get started. Okay, start with, we got our steel MS-151TC. This is the lightest of our arborist saws, weighing in right about 5.7 pounds or so. And uh, this is a one and a half horsepower saw. It is made for tree surgery. It is not quite for felling big oaks and stuff. It's made for cutting limbs and keeping trees looking all nice and tidy, although it will take down a small tree if you want it to. All right, I could talk all day long about how great these things are away from the camera, but it's easier for me just to pull it up, give you a nice little snapshot of what's going on with these things. Right here is your safety. Throttles down here on the bottom of the handle. Up here, your, also your controls, your kill switch is right here. Super easy to get when you're operating a machine. Now, every saw has what I'm about to show you. This is Steel's quick stop technology. Back here is how you activate it. You gotta push it all the way up. You'll hear that little click noise. When you say you're cutting along, cutting along, chain kicks back, boom. As this thing pops up, it'll hit your arm, stop the chain. Here's your secondary choke, your primer bulb, turn it on its side. You got your fuel fill, your bar oil fill. Right here are your carburetor adjustments, your high, low, yada, yada. Super nice and simple, very user friendly. Right here's your chain tensioner, you got your nut and your little flat head in there. Clean cuts, tree surgery. The 151, our lightest arborist saw, is very, very good at it. So, second, your MS-194T. This is Steel's medium duty arborist saw, designed with commercial use in mind. It sits right at 1.8 horsepower, just right around seven and a half pounds or so. Now we're on the MS-194T. I believe I mentioned this before, but it is the exact same as the 151 as far as controls go, aside from two differences. Safety, throttle, up top your controls, kill, run, choke, anti-vibration. I don't know if I mentioned that on the 151, but it's got an anti-vibration frame right here. Right here, your diagnostic port. Neat little function about these little arborist saws. You got your start here. Now this one does not have ergomatic technology, so it's a little harder to start, but still, Low horsepower saw, pretty dang easy. The other main difference about this one, aside from it being a little higher horsepower and a little heavier, your bar. The recommended bar on that MS-151 is a 10 inch. This can support a 12. A little beefier machine, a little longer bar. Again, super lightweight. Uh, not good for cutting down big trees. This stuff is made for, arbor saws in general are made for limbs, very small trees and basically cleaning things up, making it look all pretty. We got your MS-170. This is the homeowner saw. This thing is perfect for small trees and firewood and stuff, makes light work of all that. 1.7 horsepower, weighing in probably just under 10 pounds or so. The MS-170, the ideal homeowner saw. You got your chain brake quick stop. Right here, you got your fuel. Here will be your bar oil. Under this shroud, as you can, you can access it with a little flat head right here on this little nut. Pull this off, you got your air filter down there. On the back here, safety, throttle. You've also got your controls all the way up, kill switch, halfway down is run, all the way down is choke. Now, as far as what this can take as bars go, you can fit this with a 12 inch bar all the way up to an 18 inch bar. Although 18 is a little big for this thing, it will do it if you're cutting softer material. Perfect for light duty homeowner stuff if you're just cutting small trees or firewood and things like that. Now, we got one of my personal favorites. The MS-251 Wood Boss. This thing is right at 10.8 pounds, three horsepower. It is our one of our professional grade saws. Quiet, anti-vibration, it's got it all. The MS-251 Wood Boss from Steel. Super quiet, pro-grade machine, great for commercial use. 
pretty dang reliable and fuel efficient. You got your shroud right here. Under here is your air filter and your carburetor. Three bolts to access it. One, two, turn on the side. Three's right here. Here's your carb adjustments. Three holes, much like you saw in our arborist saws earlier. Now at the back, get your control. Up all the way, kill switch. Halfway down, run. All the way down, choke. Now, as far as bars go, this thing can support up to an 18 inch bar, although a 16 is recommended. The Wood Boss packs quite a punch in a fairly light package for what you're getting. Okay, last but certainly not least, the MS271 Farm Boss. Three and a half horsepower, weighing in right at 12.3 pounds. This thing is for jobs that require just a little more, little more heat than the, the MS251's got, and it does pretty much everything well. The Farm Boss MS271. This pro grade machine is a beast. Again, the three and a half horsepower engine, the crazy horsepower to weight ratio. All right, so starting up top, again, shroud. This thing is much like the MS251 when it comes to how its controls work. Only real difference is your bar length, but I'm gonna go through them regardless. One, two, three, there's your bolts to take off the shroud. Carb adjustment. A little heavier duty chain tensioner than you got on the MS251. Farm Boss sticker, very, very important. Safety, throttle right here. Controls back here, it's on the side on this one. Up, kill switch. Down is run. All the way down is choke. Now, this thing can support up to a 20 inch bar, although we do recommend somewhere around a 16 to an 18 if you really want to be safe. It is nicknamed the Farm Boss and it certainly lives up to that reputation. With that, we're done. Chainsaw episode finished. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you got some, uh, if you got some ideas on what else we should do, what machines you want to see covered, what steel products, any of it, then yeah, thanks for watching. Tune in next time.